Welcome to royal family. Ruler Charles spent a few hours in Clydesdale last Wednesday visiting new Lanark World Legacy site and Lanark's new Clydesdale horse sculpture. Before we continue, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Nobody knew, obviously, that simply a day after the fact with the miserable passing of Her Highness the Sovereign on Thursday, that the longest-serving main beneficiary of the privileged position would become Lord Charles III. The Clydesdale visits will currently go down in the set of experiences books, as among the last authority obligations of the previous Duke of Rothesay, who hailed New Lanark as a marvel. His regal height was visiting the town's guest community, where he saw modern antiquities and monster steam motors, he then, at that point, partook in a higher perspective of the site from the middle's 9,000-square-foot housetop garden the biggest of its sort in Scotland as well as meeting with volunteers, laborers and givers, and marking the guest's book. The Duke of Rothesay likewise saw the plant's protected turning outline, which is still in activity and used to deliver materials for business use. First utilized in the 1900 years, the turning outline is presently fueled by sustainable hydroelectricity, which is created nearby by a water-controlled turbine. Toward the finish of the visit, subsequent to being blessed to receive one of New Lanark's signatory frozen yogurts, his illustrious height was given a unique cloak from the factory's most up-to-date fleece range which was sent off in June this year to recognize Her Highness the Sovereign's platinum celebration as a gift for the Duchess of Rothesay. He was likewise given a container of New Lanark whiskey, which is refined in Altmore Refinery in Banffshire, and a jug of New Lanark gin, refined in Selkirk. James Pow, at New Lanark, said, We were colossally regarded to invite the Duke of Rothesay to New Lanark. His illustrious height said it was a wonder that the spot had been kept alive, and he was thoroughly brimming with deference for the extraordinary reclamation work that had been done. He was additionally amped up for the turbine project for economical hydropower, which is at the practicality stage, and other manageability projects being embraced. As the origin of David Dale and Robert Owen's model for modern networks, the site is saturated with authentic importance it carries us incredible pride to carry on their inheritance right up to the present day.